of it rained so hard last night everything got flooded out uh, it leveled out quite a lot of the uh, groundwork it did I didn't get much of a chance to uh, tidy everything up today but I'll get it done eventually but yeah it rained ridiculously hard harder than I've ever seen it rain here before and it rained all night and water running down everywhere and up here is just an absolute flooded mess I've had to put a bit of wood over it but everything's sort of alright, it's just messy you know, it just needs spring to come to clean it all up so I'm gonna start figuring out where uh, the cable's gonna go I'm gonna run it into the shed this end, round into the battery box and then down at the other end as well it's handy, I've got a a gap through the stone here so I think I'm just going to feed the cables through there to be honest should be a fairly tidy job so yeah I'm going to do that feed them through there up underneath into the workshop and round into the battery cupboard I'm just uh, terminating this cable inside the battery cupboard here so you can see the really big cable 16mm cable or 16mm square area cable see they're really quite a lot of copper in them so very little losses so I'm going to terminate that inside this cupboard into a nice connector and then we'll go and do the other end right, I've had a little bit of a tidy up in there anyway so it's a bit better I'm just making some uh, some lugs for the end of a cable just out of a bit of copper pipe because I haven't got any so I'm just going to make them the cable is run into there so I'm going to make some lugs and connect it up to the uh, uh, what do you call it mine's gone dead anyway it converts three phase into DC bridge rectifier so I'm gonna finish making these and then we'll get them on the cable and uh, make the connections so they're gonna go on I've already put some shrink tube on there gonna go on there like that shrink tube over the top hopefully yeah it does good that'll be a fairly tidy job it didn't cost me anything because I had the cable already heard the copper tube already which is nice so that's going to sit in there like that so that wants to be sort of like that Nice. So that's what a uh, connection is. It, does, it looks a little bit rough, I suppose, but that's uh, that's a good connection. That is, there's nothing wrong with that at all. And like I say, I didn't have anything else, so I can make it out of what I've got uh, to hand. So that's good. Okay, right. I don't know if you can see that very well. There we go. There's the connection to the bridge rectifier. So, I'm gonna connect this, get that screwed on to the wall in there, and then do the other end. I think it's quite nice considering it was all done out of bits of scrap. Okay, I'm getting a bit of this hooked up here. So, I've got my three phase, sorry, it's really dark, you can't see much, that's why I haven't been filming. But I've got three phase coming out of the alternator, going down through conduit along there, up the wall. Can you see that? Not really. Up the wall there. And um, hang on, let me get a torch. Okay, so I've got my uh, three phase wire coming out of there, going down conduit and up the wall there. I need to get a light again, I'm using a torch at the moment. Uh, so that's going to terminate into a terminal block and uh, um, the armour cable up on the wall and connect into that as well so I'm just going to solder that I'm not showing it on film because it's too dark and no need to film but I shall uh, show you what I come up with at the, in the end of it anyway Right, so I've got some, uh, some terminal lugs that I made out of copper pipe soldered on the end of the three phase some nice big cable and stuff so that's, look, that's good they're crimped and soldered so we shouldn't have any problems with uh, bad connections there 
So they're now going to go into a terminal block and uh, mount on the wall. Okay, so there's our uh, three phases going into our terminal block, which the arm with the comma can go in. It's like a 50 amp terminal block, so I was hoping it was going to be a bit bigger. I might change it for a bigger one, but that'll do to get us going for now. So they go into that, and then armor's going to go into them, and then goes back to the uh, back to the shed. So I'm just trying to get this cable run down the, the path. I can't bury it here because it's full of roots and rocks and things. Um, I just can't dig it. Um, because also, not only that I can't dig it, is if I go through this tree here, this lovely tall oak tree, it's going to have a potential of making that tree fall over because uh, all of its major big roots are going under here. So, I'm going to run it above, put a load of clay and stone and stuff on top of it so it'll be covered over but uh, with rock and stuff. So I'm going to do that. So it's just going to run down there and then into the building and be covered with stone and stuff. So... I'm going to start moving some of this sloppy clay on top of it and then put some stone on top of that. Okay, so I've got the wiring done. I'm not sure you can how well you can see it. Let's get a torch on it again. So there's the armoured coming in into a connector block, and then I've got this spare cable here, which I don't know what it's going to be for yet. I can run data through it or whatever I want. So I don't know yet. I just ran it just in case I'm going to need something. So. We've got the armoured there that goes down into the turbine and then out the wall and all the way over to the shed. That cable then runs along there, all the way up, all the way over to the shed. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to take a bit of a bit of wire. I'm going to join all of the connections together, go to the other end and just check that um, I haven't got a break in the cable, there won't be, but I'm just going to check anyway. And then once that's all done, then that is officially uh, connected up. So once that starts spinning, it'll start making the power once it's hooked into a charge controller. So that's a, a really nice step to get done. Okay, so back in the cupboard here, I'm just going to do some, some tests, make sure the cable's all good. Yep, yeah, all good. So now I officially have so that connection there now goes all the way down to the turbine and that is officially connected and to the turbine. So all I need is to take the DC off of there into a charge controller and if that turbine was spinning we'd be making some power. So all we got left to do is run the pipe and a final bit of wiring and we're going to have power. So that's going to be the end of this video here, so hope you enjoyed it. Apologies there wasn't too much action, but all the cupboards I'm working in are dark and there wasn't too much to show. So hopefully it'll be a bit more, um, a bit more for you to see in the next video. So hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.